Hello everybody. I'm not going to keep you long uh, in this video. I just wanted to kind of show you something that I've got going on here. I've got plenty here about uh, the cool weather we've had this spring. Uh, always struggled growing cabbage, broccoli, any kind of brassica crop, uh, co-crop in uh, this part of the country uh, in the springtime because it gets so warm on us. But this year it's been cool. Uh, we actually had a freeze back on May the 3rd. Uh, we're at the end of the May now and uh, had plenty of rain. And man, these cabbages I've got have just gotten huge this year. That's a good sized head of cabbage right there. got this old produce scale here in the greenhouse used to keep track of every uh, pound of produce that I grew and uh, kind of recorded it in a notebook just out of curiosity and all uh, don't really do that much anymore but I want to see what this thing weighs and uh, I'm gonna tell you something uh, I sell groceries for a living most heads of cabbage uh, nowadays in markets and all are, are around one and a half two pounds uh, you won't see much bigger than that. Uh, kind of curious what this one's going to weigh. Uh, this old meat scale here, or produce scale, uh, came out of an old grocery store, and I can't get it to zero. It's stuck on 9.12 ounces. I can't get it to back to zero, but I can put my pocket knife up on there and just almost get it to zero. Uh, it's uh, within an ounce of zero. Let's see what this thing's going to weigh. just about an ounce over four pounds now I know I've seen uh, videos of guys growing eight nine pound cabbages or whatever but I just I can't ever do this uh, we don't have a long enough spring with cool weather to grow uh, cabbage like that uh, this is definitely an achievement for me in the springtime now in the fall uh, we have a long enough fall that usually if I can get it up uh, it's not too hot and all we can uh, we can grow it but uh, let me show you what it weighs up there not gonna not don't know if it's gonna show there or not but the lines running right across here so it's about four pounds one ounce I was shy an ounce uh, when it was uh, with my just my knife up there so it's about 4.2 pounds uh, 4.2 ounces uh, but like I say uh, for me springtime that's uh, that's quite an achievement usually I can't get heads more than a pound or two uh, this time of year just because of the heat sets in they'll go to seeds start splitting on me and all and one of the things that uh, impressed me this year with uh, all the uh, co-crops and all was uh, minimal dug bug damage uh, we just now in the last week or so have experienced uh, getting some bugs in uh, it's been really uh, wet and rainy for us and uh, temperatures been actually been getting up in about the 80s uh, throughout the day uh, staying in the 60s at night so uh, I'm gonna probably pick uh, what I've got left out here. I've got about 10 or 12 heads left. Uh, they're about, uh, I'm gonna say two to two to three pounds probably. Uh, nothing as big as what I just weighed. Uh, picked our first zucchini today. I've got yellow squash setting uh, fruit. Uh, tomatoes are all setting nicely and I uh, look forward to the next couple of weeks actually starting to get some stuff going. Uh, uh, green beans, I'll be showing you those pretty quick. Uh, they're up about six, eight inches tall. Uh, really starting to fill out some foliage, not blooming yet. Uh, that's about it for tonight, guys. It's windy out here. I hope it's not bothering you. It's starting to kind of mist. Uh, got a chance for uh, some rain uh, this evening. And also my, my oldest daughter, uh, is graduating high school this week and we've got our baccalaureate service tonight uh, up here at the First Baptist Church. Uh, looking forward to that. Uh, kind of bittersweet I guess. I hate to see them grow up uh, but you kind of look forward to seeing them uh, enter uh, a new phase in their life. And uh, Anyways guys, uh, you guys have a great day and we'll see y'all later.